Hello, welcome to Dan Hard United, the one stop for everything Manchester United. I'm going to bring you all the latest news concerning Manchester United as we have an update concerning Mason Greenwood and also it seems like there is hope for Eric Ten Hag to stay at Manchester United. But starting with Mason Greenwood, it was reported earlier today by the Daily Mail that Borussia Dortmund are interested in Mason Greenwood and will make a decision on the 22-year-old after the Champions League final on Saturday. And also, Fabrizio Romano said that um, United are working to sell Mason Greenwood um, in this summer and active talks are taking place to find the best solution for to, to find the best solution and United are determined to make profit, profit on missing Greenwood sale. So it seems we're having in, we're having um, many clubs coming in for missing Greenwood from Dortmund to Atletico Madrid to Gatafe to Napoli. Um, you know, clubs around Europe really want missing Greenwood. But it's going to be down to how much Manchester United wants for him. Um, we, the figures we're getting is around £40 million. Pounds. That is what United wants for missing Greenwood. Can Napoli, Dortmund and other, all other clubs pay that amount for him. That's a very, very fair amount considering his talent, considering his age. And if he turns out to be turns out to be very, very good wherever he goes, that would be a bargain um fee for him. And of course we know the you know his talents and United want to make as much profit as possible. So it's very good if you have a a bidding war for him and then um, 40 million pounds is a very very fair deal. So let's see what happens with that. But Fabrizio Romano said this is one to watch for the next weeks. Like I have said before, Mason Greenwood would want to clarify his future very, very quickly so that when he goes on vacation, he knows where he's going to come back to when he's back on from, from vacation. So it's, it makes sense for his deal to happen really, really fast. But the Champions League final is this weekend. Let's see what Dortmund, Napoli, and okay, Napoli is going to, um, is going to appoint Anthony Conte to be a new manager. Will Conte want Mason Greenwood? That's the question to ask. But Atletico Madrid are there, Gatafe are there, and all other clubs are there. So let's see what they want um, to, to do about Mason Greenwood's situation. And let's see how many clubs um, want him. It, is, it will be in our favor if we have the bidding war. But let's see what happens with that. And also coming from the United stand, a popular Manchester United fan channel, um, fan community, uh, there's an exclusive news there that says um, key Ineos figures now support Eric Ten Hag after meetings with players and staff. Recognizing challenges like injuries and off-field issues involving Anthony, Greenwood, Sancho and Rashford. Kieran McKenna is no longer a viable option and there's little trust in finding an alternative to Ten Hag. His future, however, remains uncertain with no imminent decision expected from Ineos season review. So that's what we that's what we are getting. So it seems like their key figures at United are slowly tilting to keeping missing uh, to keeping um <laughs> Richten Hag. So that means he, he is now the he now has some favors from the from the higher ups. And I also said that Ten Hag's future does of course remain unconfirmed and uncertain. United sources are not expecting an imminent outcome. Of the Ineos season review. So maybe we're going to get in news on Eric Dan, maybe ending of this week, maybe Friday, Saturday, or at best on Monday next week, because we have no time to waste. But from the from what we're getting here, it seems like some figures, some key figures at the club are now in favor of keeping Eric Ten Hag. Previously, before the FA final, it was reported that um it's highly likely that he's going to go. He's not, in short, he was already sacked and blah 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 blah. We won the FA Cup final. Now he has been very quiet. It has been very quiet about his future. Um, many of the fans are being vocal. They want him to stay, and um, the options available to replace him are not really are not good. And now we are getting small news or little news or quiet news about the fact that he's likely to stay. So you can see how things are changing. If we had lost the FA Cup final on Saturday, by now they have definitely would have been sacked. Definitely. But now I've won it and it seems like there's change coming. Um, it seems like they, maybe they are trying to listen to the fans because the fans want him to stay. But there's no real update on the hag other than this, which is some key figures are thinking about or are pushing for the hag to stay. But the season review from Ineos Group is not yet done 
and um, Sajim Nakliff, Omar Barada, okay, Omar Barada, no, yeah, yeah. Sajim Nakliff, Sir David Bresford, uh, Laurent Blanc, Jason Wilcox, and every other person will look at the situation um, of the club and will come to a decision very, very soon. But I doubt for that. There's no other concrete as far so far. It is all down to a Tenag and his future. Once Tenag's future is sorted out, then we can, start, we can start talking about transfers and every other thing. So don't worry. I'll, I'll be able to give you everything you need to know about um, what's coming out from the club. Don't forget this is the United, the one stop for everything Manchester United. And I'll see you all on the next one.